How in the hell do you make somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger even more manly? Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, asshole. You give him a mustache! <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, asshole. And that's what you get when you play as Mike Haggard in Final Fight Double Impact. Just like Arnold in Commando, you don't waste time negotiating with the captors of your daughter, even if it's possibly the only guy who knows where they're gonna take her. Your daughter's safe, Colonel. Whether she stays that way is up to you. My people got some business with you. And if you want your kid back, then you gotta cooperate. Right? Wrong. No, instead, you'll be ripping your shirt off, eating turkey legs, and fist spinning the assholes that try to get in your way! Sure, you could choose from her boyfriend or his friend, but neither of those sissies have the power stack! The game is a classic side-scrolling arcade beat-em-up in the same vein as Streets of Rage or Double Dragon. And all the nostalgic feelings of being in the arcades will return to you as you mercilessly punch people to death. Actually, you know what? Final Fight pissed me off. And it's extremely obvious that this game was designed for one sole reason. To suck quarters out of your lifeless body. <laughs> Cheap AI attacks. You can't go two feet without a f***ing barrel thrown at you. Or there's you can't block any attacks. Every time you pick up a weapon, somebody punches you in the face. Oh, and in co-op, you're going to spend more time hitting each other than the enemy. Because you can punch each other in co-op. That is never good. You're just gonna get pissed off at your partner. Dude, Dude stop, stop hitting, hitting me. me. No, no, you, you stop, stop hitting me. No, look, I'm, I'm I didn't. Stop I didn't do it on Dude, purpose. Stop hitting me. I'm not doing I'm it on purpose. You. Dude, you know what? Look, you, this right. You're gonna, no. Final fight. Although nostalgic, just ends in frustration and boredom. They should have called this one Magic Sword with Final Fight Double Impact. In this one, you're a Conan the Barbarian lookalike who has to battle his way through 51 levels of high fantasy insanity. We got giants, dragons, orcs, level bosses, even priests and ninjas. As you progress, you can rescue other heroes that are captured, and these heroes will join you for a short time. There's not much else to either game, but this is just good old arcade mashing buttons fun. What's great is both Final Fight Double Impact and Magic Sword have cooperative modes. You can play with a friend in couch co-op or go online. In fact, when you boot up the game, it's already online enabled. So at any time, somebody can join into your game as if you were already in the arcades. Another cool touch is the visual options. You'll see two arcade machines as the main menu when you select the game you want to play. Then when you're playing the game, it zooms in as if you're standing right in front of the arcade cabinet. But you have the option to switch into full screen, wide screen, and a bunch of different visual enhancements like original arcade classic, smooth, or crisp. Updating the visuals for more next gen HD television sets. The only two gripes I have about the game are the fact that you can't pause. If you hit the pause button, those enemies are going to continue to whoop your ass while you're selecting all of the options. Another thing is the difficulty of the game. So it's extremely difficult to get through the game without using any continues, if not impossible. 
The issue here though is that you have unlimited continues. And with unlimited continues, there's really no incentive to use strategy or to conserve yourself, to, to bob and weave and get around the enemy bosses in creative ways. But on the flip side, I can see how it might be pretty frustrating if I can't even beat the game that I paid for because it's so difficult. And maybe to help alleviate that, Capcom has introduced these mini rewards, and that's on top of the achievement points and trophies that you're already gonna get. Like beating a level using only a certain amount of continues, or speeding through it at a certain time. And these challenges will unlock cool things like concept art, comic pages, and other cool little tidbits that you can check out on the main menu. I'm often very stingy with my Microsoft points. I almost don't want to spend any of them. But I can tell you right now that Final Fight Double Impact combined with Magic Sword is a great deal for 800 Microsoft points, which is about $10. And that's why it rates an 8 out of 10 on the final verdict. You're getting two full arcade games with an updated soundtrack, updated visuals, a cool arcade cabinet touch, both online and couch cooperative mode. And finally, all these cool mini rewards thrown in that unlock all these cool little tidbits and concept art and all these extras. And if you could excuse the fact that it is an old school arcade game where essentially you're just mashing buttons over and over, waiting to see what kind of new boss levels and enemies come up, then I can highly recommend this game. Especially if you remember these two from the arcades back in your childhood. And if you're playing Final Fight with a friend, don't you dare play! without selecting Mike Haggard. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. My God. It's tasty.